Hey, what's up guys? I'm here in Japan and I'm here to show you a quick tip or quick Insta hack on how to do the 3D photos that you see a lot online nowadays. The 3D photos are taken on what's called a Nishka N8000. There's four separate lenses that take a photo at the exact same time, uh, producing four different angles of the same photo, which you can put together into a parallax effect, hence the 3D image that you get. Um, but I'm here today to show you how to do this with just your iPhone. So, you go into the camera app and you make sure that live photos is turned off and you're going to take four photos slightly off center from each other so one two three four one two three four i usually take two or three sets just to be sure one two three four now we're going to take these into photoshop and i'll show you how to make the actual gif so once you've gotten back to your desktop and you get those four images that you've taken earlier onto your computer, you're going to want to take these four images and bring them into Photoshop. Um, and they're going to load separately here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to organize these um, chronologically. So 3932, 3933, 3934, and 3935. And you're going to want to drag them all into one single canvas. And so I'm going to use the first one as my base, uh, 3932 here. And I'm just going to drag this one to the same location here, delete that, take 3934 onto here, and the last one, bring it onto my canvas here. And I'm not going to need those other uh, files now. And so you can see I have four images loaded into a single Photoshop file, um, and they're layered one on top of each other. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to pick a focal point um, for your image. And so for this image, I'm going to use this person right here. And I'm going to make sure that they're all aligned. Um, each photo is aligned with this single focal point. And so to do this, all you need to do is make sure that your base background layer is set uh, at, at the bottom. And then you're going to want to turn on the eye for the first layer. And what I do is I turn the opacity down to about 50%, zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to just make sure that this image is dragged so that it's on top of the first layer. So that's about right. Um, and once that's, once that's set, I turn it back to 100%, and I do the same thing for the next layer. Um, make sure that this is also aligned. Um, and the more exact you are, the better the final product comes out. I'll do the final one here. That's about right. Um, back to 100%. And if you go through now, you can tell that the four images are pretty much on top of each other. Um, sometimes like if you're not holding the camera steady, it'll jump a little bit. So notice how this one's slightly off from this one. And so you can simply, um, transform this to match the one beneath it. Okay. So now what you're going to want to do is create a video timeline. Um, I think if you go into windows, it'll show timeline. So you just want to make sure that you have your timeline open and then you create video timeline and then you click this left button at the bottom here. And you'll notice um, it only has one frame now. And essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, single frame animation this into a, a GIF. And so first, what I do is I set the uh, the time for each frame. And so my, um, my golden time is 0.12 seconds. So I'll set that. I'll set this to forever. And then I'll make six, six frames. So one, two, three, four, and one more. So that's six frames. And so you start the first one. And you make sure that the other ones are not visible. Just your base layer is visible now on your first frame. Then you go to your next frame. You'll make sure the second frame is visible and not the base layer. And likewise for the third frame, for the fourth frame. And then once you get to the fifth frame, you're going to go back to layer two. Instead of going um, in other layers, you're just going to go back to layer two. So it's going to loop. And then you'll end on your sixth frame, which is layer one. Um, as you notice, we didn't go back to layer zero. It's because that'll loop back. So let me just press uh, space and play it real quick. 
Okay, that's good enough right now. Um, you're going to notice that when you move these frames or these images, you're going to have a little empty space. What I do is I just crop this a little bit to make sure that there's no um, extra camera space. I crop that, and then I press play one more time. I think I'm happy with it now. So what I do now is I go File, Save for Web. And now what I do is I usually keep this um, pretty small. As you can tell, it's 24 megabytes right now. I'll usually keep this to like either between 1,200 or 1,500. So I'll do 1,200 for this one. One key here is that you want to make sure that these settings are some sort of GIF. So I just click GIF, um, and I keep... Do the other 88% colors 256. I don't think this really matters. You just need to make sure that you export this as a GIF. So I'll click save. And then I'll just put it to the desktop. I'll name it um, testing. So now that we have your GIF on your desktop, um, in order to like post this onto Instagram or other social media accounts or um, to a lot of places on the web in general, you're going to need to have it as an MP4 or movie file. Um, and so what you need to do now is go to your web browser. Um, and then go to online video converter to mp4. Uh, this is what I use. So we'll go here, you'll upload the file that you just made. So get file and then um, just convert. And it'll download it automatically for you once it's finished converting. So once you have it finished downloading, you can grab it. Um, this is what it looks like. Now you're going to want to get this back to your phone. Um, and so once you get it back to your phone, I'll show you the, the next step into posting it onto Instagram. So the app that I use, it's called Share Video Joiner. And it's free in the App Store. What you do is you press the plus sign here to import uh, video. You grab the video that you just made. Um, and if you press play right now, you can tell it's only about one second long. So what you do is you scroll all the way to the right and you click clone. And you'll click clone until it hits about four of these at the top here. And as you can tell, it says four seconds. And so now the video is four seconds long. If you play it real quick, just plays through on a loop. Um, and now that it's four seconds long, you can go ahead, you can upload this to Instagram. All you gotta do is press save to photos and it's there for your use. And here's the final product. Uh, thanks for watching, and make sure to check us out on Instagram for more examples of these 3D GIFs.